Thank you very much. My name is Meredith Doig. I'm president of the Rationalist Society uh, in Australia. About 10 years ago, I was out and proud as a free thinker, and I had to choose whether to join the Humanist Society or the Rationalist Society. And I chose to join, join the Rationalists because the humanists were a bit soft and fluffy. Um, and your description of humanism was um, very appealing. So what is your, or what should be, a humanist, rationalist, secularist uh, response to the challenge of an ideology that does not respect um, friendliness and compassion and tolerance? Um, it's a very good point. Now, uh, I would very much hope that my characterization of hum humanism was quite soft and fluffy. You know, the picture of, of the humanist is the bearded sandal wear wearing do-gooder in the community, and that's exactly right. That's just how it should be. Now, I would want every atheist, secularist, rationalist, skeptic, and humanist to be a humanist, because humanism is the, as it were, ethical background. But we need rationalists because we want people to have good, clear, hard-hitting, uh, edgy arguments to put against people who have bizarre views or, or falsely based views or views which are derived from several thousand years ago and don't apply to our time now. We want skeptics who will challenge um, uh, viewpoints that merit being challenged. We want people to um, talk about the metaphysical question of whether or not the universe contains supernatural agencies of one kind or another. That's the theism-atheism debate. We want people to talk about the place of r religious voices in the public policy uh, sphere. So all these different aspects, secularism, rationalism, skepticism, they're all, they're all different um, parts of a, of, of a great federation, if you like, of, of attitudes. But it seems to me that the, the sort of background shared attitude of them all, no matter what they see themselves as doing, is or should be the humanist outlook. Thank you.